It may not be the French way, but it's my way. It looks like baby porridge. I'm feeling out of my depth. Uh. Hi there, my name's Tom, and today I'm gonna to be making macarons from scratch using a recipe that's written entirely in French. In terms of my knowledge of French, GCSE level, you know, since then I've never really spoken it or learned anything more. So anything that I did know is probably gone straight out of my head. So I think there's gonna be a lot of guesswork involved here. I am gonna do my very best to say the numbers, do the pronunciations, like it's gonna be all wrong and you know what? You're welcome. Uh, macarons. They are notoriously difficult to get right, I have heard. There are lots of procedures you have to do, lots of things you have to do for the right amount of time. Like, I have, here it's quite a sort of like military operation to get it all correct. I am by no means a good cook, chef, or baker. You know, I get by to survive like the rest of us, but when it comes to anything that requires a lot of dexterity or skill, I tend to not do great. If you don't believe me, watch my 11 layer pride cake video and you'll see. So what I have to refer to is this single page. This is a recipe entirely in French, and this is what I'm gonna be following. Uh, one thing I have seen in English is an ingredients list so that I can at least buy the right stuff and then mess it up in French. Fingers crossed. Ingredients. 100 gram sucre glace. That's the icing sugar, I think. Oh my God, how do I say this number? 75. Oh, that's a complicated. 75 gram d'amande en poudre. So that's the almond flour, I think. Amand, almond, right? This is harder than I thought it would be. Oh my God. <laughs> Deux gros blancs de frackets, température ambiante. So I think that's um, two big egg whites at ambient temperature, room temperature. Next one, hard number again, what did I do? Uh, 75 de sucre granulé. So that'll be granulated sugar. I've got no idea what that is. Un CAC de poudre de cacao. That's one something of cocoa powder. Maybe like a teaspoon or a tablespoon, maybe? I don't know what CAC is. Colorant alimentaire en gel. So gel food coloring. Okay, pour 20 macarons, so for 20 macarons. Préparation. Oh, how do you say 40? 45 minutes. Takes 45 minutes to prepare. And then cuisson, 10 à 12 minutes. So going to cook between 10 and 12 minutes. Okay, all right. I feel like I kind of fumbled my way through that enough. Now it's time for the method. Oh, this is the hard bit. So first section says, Dans une bowl, battez les blanc d'oeuf et le sucre glace jusqu'au... Jusqu'à... Okay, I, I, I remember the stuff like this. They used, you'd kind of say them all together. So like, jusqu'à ce que des picrèdes se forment. Avec une spatule, pliez doucement le sucre granulé tamisé un peu à la fois. <gasps> okay, all right. So I think this means in a bowl, beat the egg whites and the icing sugar, something, oh, um, until it does this, what do you call that? The stiff peaks. Um, with a spatula, plié doucement, no idea. Le sucre granulé. With a spatula, add the granulated sugar a bit at a time. Okay, okay, good, I can do that, excellent. Oh my god. We're fine. Okay, um, they're not stiff peaks. Maybe this is what it's supposed to be like? I don't know. I'm just gonna move on and hope for the best. A bit at a time. Oh god, this is not stiff peaks at all. This is like marshmallow. This feels like it isn't right. Like this doesn't, this doesn't feel like I'm doing it correctly. It smells very sweet and sugary though, it smells nice. Ah, whatever, I'm sure they'll be fine. They're just biscuits at the end of the day, right? Okay, so that entirely wrong looking mixture of multiple sugars and egg white is there. Let's move on. Plié dans le mélange les amandes jusqu'à ce Qu'il soit combiné. Soyez très doux et léger en le faisant. 
une fois complètement combiné, le mélange sera lisse, collant et brillant. Uh, we have plié before, so maybe that means add. Okay, so add, add in the almond flour until uh, it's combined. This is like, oh God, it's so weird to be cooking and be so in the dark about the experience that you're having. Like, I have no idea whether this looks right. I've got no idea whether I've even put the right thing or the right amount at the right time in. Like, it's a batter, you know, of some description. That's all I can say for it. Like, that, does that look right? It looks like, it looks like baby porridge. It's fine. Trust the process. Trust the really unclear process. Divisez le mélange en quatre bowls. Ajoutez un gel colorant alimentaire dans deux d'entre eux, de la poudre de cacao et un rien dans le dernier. First things first, this says divide it into four bowls. So I think they're doing like multiple colors and stuff. The challenges that I've had so far, I'm not gonna do that because these are my macarons and I make the rules. And instead I'm just gonna add the food coloring and the cocoa powder. Now, my guess is that a CAC is a tablespoon or a dessert spoon. I don't know why, but I don't have any better logic to go with. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna mix that in. Oh my God, wait, this feels like way too much. Oh no, have I ruined it? Oh, it's gone very thick. It's gone really thick. It's it's gone very much like a sort of like granularly like sandy texture. Oh. oh, now how much do we need to add the food coloring? Okay, maybe I'll add some red and it'll go like a nice ready brown. I'm starting to think a CAC isn't, isn't a tablespoon. Maybe it's like a pinch, oh my God. <laughs> It may not be the French way, but it's my way. That's kind of red, right? Sort of like a, like a red velvet type of color. We're going with it. <laughs> Sur un papier à pâtisserie, désigné des cercles de 5 cm. Remplissez la poche à douille avec la pâte et fête des cercles. Lassez-les reposer pendant un mois. Um, 30 minutes jusqu'à former une coquille sèche. Cuisinez au four pour 10 à 12 minutes à 160. Okay, <laughs> I'm feeling out of my depth. So far, I've been able to kind of like chop them up into the constituent words and figure it out. So on greaseproof paper, draw five centimeter circles. I've got no idea what that means, so I'm just gonna ignore it. So I need to do something for 30 minutes. I need to pendant, 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 ponder? No, I'm not sure what pendant means. Something 30 minutes, okay, jusqu'à former, it's like until it forms. I don't know what cookie de sèche means. So maybe it's like put them on the tray and then wait 30 minutes until something forms. Maybe it'll bubble up or something, I don't know. Okay, all right, well, that's gonna, that's, that's my guess and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, also, my piping bag doesn't have a nozzle, it's just the sort of straight end of the bag, so... Do with that what you will. I've got, like, loads left, but I want to leave, like, enough space in between them so that they don't spread too much. If my guess about pendant au moins 30 minutes, meaning wait 30 minutes, is correct, then I should leave these for 30 minutes for some reason. So, see you in half an hour. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. Um, they look the same as they did before. Uh, in that time, I have preheated the oven to 160 degrees. Let's get these in the oven. Oh God, please, please work. Okay, in you go. Godspeed macarons. Okay, so whilst they're in the oven, I've set a timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna try and quickly make the buttercream that goes in the middle. 50 gram de poudre de cacao. In there. What's next? 160 grams of sucre glace. 50 grams beurre non sale, which is unsalted butter. Got it right here. Ooh, chocolatey. Honestly, I'd say that looks like a pretty good chocolate buttercream. Okay, so maybe even if the macarons suck, this 
buttercream in the middle might save them. Let's see. I don't know. <gasps> That's time. Ooh. Am I stupid or do they, they kind of look good? Wait, these don't even look that bad, I don't think. They're like cracked, which I don't know if macarons normally are, but. So the fun thing is the recipe that I have ends there. And seeing as there's no recipe for me to follow or ignore, I'm just gonna add the buttercream now. Put the buttercream on it like that. Then I'm gonna get another one and sort of sandwich it. I think that looks good. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, I am not kidding. I didn't think it was gonna be like this, but look. I mean, maybe to like a professional baker, these don't look right, but oh my God. To me, these look absolutely perfect. Look at that. They're very thick. Like I think normally macarons are like supposed to be a bit more delicate than this, but for a first try entirely in French, I think these don't look too bad. What do you think? Proof is in the pudding. So without further ado, cheers. They're a bit tough and kind of chewy, but not bad. They're almost like a very fudgy brownie with like a crisp outside. The fact that their chocolate definitely saved them, I do think I've just made them like that bit too thick. But to be honest, for a first ever try following the recipe entirely in French, it's really, it's not bad. I'm actually really pleased with myself. <laughs> Thank you so much for fumbling through this recipe with me. If you like this video, please comment below any other recipes I should follow in another language. And until then, a bientôt.